everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Glossy Philosophy. My name is Jansen Binman and today we are talking about how to transition your looks from holiday and the festive season into your everyday. So holiday to everyday, here we go. Before we get into the everyday looks, let's talk about the structure of the holiday festive look that I created. If you've been watching me on Instagram, I have been posting this outfit quite a bit because I wore it quite a bit during the holiday festive season and I definitely plan to take apart each element and wear them in my everyday life just like I'm doing a video on right now. So. Let's start with this jacket. This jacket is amazing. It is definitely a showstopper. I went to a musical event with my kiddos. I took off my coat and the whole room, I'm not even kidding you, went <gasps> and then asked me where I got my jacket. So if you want to like just kind of kapow when you walk into a room, this is a really great one to go with. But let's kind of break it down. So this jacket is from Sanctuary. It has kind of a velvet feel to it underneath in a champagne color, so it kind of swings uh, gold and also silver. It has the silver sequins as well. And on the inside, it is lined with a really soft kind of jersey material. There's also a pocket, which is so great. You can put like cough drops or Kleenex or whatever you need, maybe a lip, a lip gloss. I did that the other day and it didn't feel like it destroyed the structure of the jacket because it is definitely a loose jacket. You can move and groove in this jacket and do anything that you need to do. And just because it's a sequin jacket, it's not going to hinder you from like baking cookies. Although I don't know if I'd bake cookies in this just because of the sequins, but you do you. Um, and then underneath it, just to keep it a little bit more casual, a little bit more modern and not go completely over the top, I paired it with this Michael Stars t-shirt in a v-neck. So this is just a plain white tee. It's great. It's a cotton weave and it forms to the body without being like <gasps> so tight to the body, which is great. And then I paired it with a Kendra Scott, um, kind of multi-tiered necklace. This one I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year. Amazing find. One of the only delicate necklaces that I currently have, um, but I really do love it kind of pairing everything together. Again, this is gold and silver in here, so I chose a gold, but you could absolutely go with a silver or a mixed metal necklace would be really pretty. And then the pants. The pants are also kind of a showstopper, but they're like a more subdued showstopper. So these are a faux leather or a vegan leather jogger and these are from Commando and maybe you know when I saw the name Commando I thought I thought they only did leggings but they don't. They do other things now. So these joggers are really awesome. They are easy to maintain, they're easy to wash, they're easy to clean up. I've already washed these. I've worn them many times since I purchased them. And I would say, you know, I'm not really a pant person. I know I'm wearing pants and I know I'm featuring a pant, but generally I'm not really a pant person. So in order for me to wear a pant, a pair of pants like multiple times has to mean it's really comfortable and almost feels like I'm wearing a skirt. So this one kind of checks all those boxes for me. It stretches out a little bit, so I chose a size small. If I wanted it to be super tight, I could have gotten into the extra small, but I, because it's a jogger, I wanted it to be a little bit more relaxed. Um, the medium was way too big, so definitely when you're trying these on, wear them around for a few minutes, like in the fitting room or at home. Just see if it stretches out for you where you want it to stretch out, and that's the size that you should go with or maybe you need to size down because when I put on the medium I thought I don't understand the hype but as soon as I tried on the small I was like oh this fits so much better it's relaxed but it's not too relaxed and so it's gonna have a little bit of sheen which is gonna pick up the sequence in the jacket and all together it just works because you've got lots of different textures you have shine and you also are pairing it back to a t-shirt, which is a great way to kind of take something festive and bring it down a notch. If you were to pair this with a blouse or something glittery, it would just make me feel like I was supposed to be on stage performing, which 
would be amazing in this jacket, but that's not my life right now. So that's why I paired it to a t-shirt. And then because these are black and they're not in a color, it doesn't take away from the jacket, which should be the hero of the ensemble. So that is kind of where we're starting and that is my festive outfit. So now let's break these pieces apart and see how we can transform them into our everyday lives. I'm gonna start with the top half. So nothing is changing in this outfit. I'm still wearing the same Kendra Scott necklace, the same jacket, the same t-shirt, but instead of wearing the commando vegan leather joggers, I'm going to pair them with some gray black distressed denim. And the cool thing about these jeans, so these are from Cut From The Cloth. They are the Rosa Raw Hem jeans. They have a little bit of distressing, just a little bit. And then of course on the Raw Hem, there is the distressing as well. So that just kind of like ups your cool factor a little bit. Again, these are kind of in, if you roll the cuffs like I did in the video, they're kind of mimicking a jogger pant, which I like, so good. You can absolutely wear them unrolled, but for me, like your ankle is one of the smallest parts of your body. So if you can highlight that in your pant, it looks great, which is why a jogger also looks great on most body types, I would say. So even though these are a straight leg, just roll up that hem, create that faux jogger, and you can basically wear the exact same outfit, but you're wearing jeans. So this transforms this into a very cool rock and roll vibe. And sometimes in the winter, I just feel like I need a little edge to like all the comfy, cozy sweaters that I'm wearing, but I still wanna mix and match some things that I got for holiday. And this is a great way to do it. Again, you're pairing this amazing jacket back to a white t-shirt, distressed jeans, which by themselves is fine. And then you're adding a little bit of glitz and glam with the jacket and it just elevates that look it's like a sequin blazer and you look awesome so that is transition outfit number one I did forget to mention the shoes so really quick same outfit with the shoes I'm sticking with the same shoes that I wore for my holiday festive look and these are from Michael Kors so I just want to talk about these really quickly because these are the most amazing pumps I think I've ever worn on my feet they're a three inch heel, and I do have them in one other color. I have another color on the way. Again, three inch heel, so really great. I'm turning 37 in a couple months. Like, I just can't do the four inch heel anymore. They're a pointed toe, so it elongates the leg. They work with pretty much anything because they have gold and silver thread running through them. And again, it's just another added texture, which you guys know me. I love texture. I love playing with texture, especially when there's no pattern going on in the outfit. You have to play with texture, otherwise you just look so flat. And so this is just a great way to add another layer of texture, another layer of glam. So great. If you are not a pump heel lady, then pairing these with some really cool sneakers would be amazing. I'm not really a sneaker kind of gal, so that's just not my vibe, but I've seen so many cute sneakers out there. I'm probably going to try some pretty soon. But that is the outfit with the shoes and go rock your everyday look. Now we're taking it back to the pants. So the faux leather vegan joggers from Commando. You might look at those and think, well, how am I supposed to pair those for every day? You just have to think of them as black joggers. Take the vegan, the faux leather part out of it. Take the little bit of sheen that comes with that out of it. What would you wear with a black jogger? And if the word jogger intimidates you, what would you wear with a black pant? Maybe you would wear a blouse. Maybe you would wear this amazing sweater. So I love pairing these faux joggers, faux leather joggers with sweaters. I think it just, it's that in-between being really dressy and being like too casual. So this sweater is from 525. It's a cowl neck sweater. You can absolutely mess around with this because it's a cotton weave. So this is gonna stretch as like you kind of pull it and work with it throughout the day. It's a chunky knit so it adds that texture because these pants, even though they have a little bit of sheen, they are a flat texture. There's really nothing going on. There's a little bit of pebbling 
but not much. So you need to add something textural to make the outfit pop. And this is a great way to do it with a chunky neck. And the other cool thing about this sweater is that it has a high low hem. As you can see in the video, I just think that is so fun. So in the front, you can absolutely do a half tuck, a part tuck, any kind of tuck that you want to if you want to show off your waist. You can also, for a little bit more of a casual vibe, just let it go. And this sweater drapes so beautifully around the body. And this is in like my usual size. So on top I usually wear an extra small. So this isn't an extra small. It just kind of flows around the body. So now we need to think about kind of elevating it a little bit. Could you wear sneakers? Yeah, you totally could. If that's not your vibe, then I say pull out your sparkly shoes again. And this is an amazing outfit. This is great for anything. You can do drop off. You can go to the art museum. You can meet up with friends. You can go to work. You can do like anything in this outfit except maybe like go in a courtroom and do lawyering things. But other than that, like so cute. You look like you know what you're doing. You're having fun with life. You're wearing these amazing pants. And you kind of look, again, a little rock and roll for January, which I love. So that is transitional outfit number two. Thank you guys so much for watching this video on how to take your holiday looks into everyday. I am going to be doing at least one more video on holiday to everyday looks um, coming up within the next couple of weeks. But I think it's really fun to mix and match kind of elevated, sophisticated pieces into our everyday lives with other things and I think it creates a really interesting outfit, a really interesting juxtaposition, really interesting layers and shine and all of those things. So don't be afraid to wear your sequins, sequins to the grocery store and don't be afraid to wear your coated or faux leather, vegan leather pants or anything with other things. So thank you again for watching. I do fashion videos every Wednesday beauty videos every Friday. I'm starting to get more involved on Instagram. So if you are interested in seeing like shortened videos of the outfits or you just like looking at the pictures a little bit more, Instagram is a great place to go. I'm also on Pinterest where I post pretty regularly. So definitely check me out there. Everything will be linked below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up, and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye!